that Jesus he is in he is a, he is the control of every situation. You know, on that day when they was in the sea and he was sleeping, he was resting. There, there was a great, there was a great and trouble, a terrible situation that arose in the sea. Am I right? And eh? that that situation almost swallowed, almost swallowed them in the sea. But he was sleeping. The, the disciples said, "Master, Master, awake, because we perish." The master awake and say, "See what happened? Be still." <laughs> I, this morning, coronavirus. You will be still because the master is on the truth. The master mm -hmm. is in charge of every situation. Mm -hmm. I tell you, friends, yeah. I said, Corolla Paros will be still. Why? We have a father who has the final say. We are going to look this morning what God, what God requests, require from your hand. Yesterday, who can remind us what was our message of yesterday? <laughs> Who can remind us? What have I done to you, oh my people? Yeah. Yes. What have I done to you, oh my people? Uh, what have I done to you, oh my people? But this morning, we are going to see the other part of that message that says the request, what God requires. From the hand of uh, his children, there are things God requires from the hand of his children, and we must learn. We must know those things and make use of them. Please, if I put your phone, know that there is a noise. Don't open it, please, so that we can able to go on. You need to know those things that God requires on your hand. When you know it and live by it. You will begin to enjoy the God's blessing. We move this morning to look at the book in the book of Micah, chapter 6. We are going to take it from verse 7 to the end. Let's see what God has for us there. In Micah chapter 6. Please, are we there? In Micah. Chapter 6. Micah is uh, after Job, after uh, Jonah. Jonah, you see Micah. Nobody's there. Nobody's there in the Bible. Yes. yes. Micah. Chapter 6, we take you from verse 7. Will, will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams or with ten, or with ten thousands or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgressions, for the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul? 8. He has showed thee, O man, what is good. And what doeth the Lord require of thee? But to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy, with thy God. The Lord's voice cried unto the city, and the name of wisdom shall see thy and the name of and the men of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod, and who hath anointed it, appointed it, sorry. Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the saint measure that is abominable? Shall I count them pure with the wicked balance, uh, with the bag of beautiful and with, with the bag of deceitful weights? For the rich men thereof are full of violence. And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore also will I make thee sick in smiting thee, in making thee desolate because of thy sins. How shall it 
great not be satisfied, and by and thy casting down shall be in the midst of thee, and thou shalt take hold that shall not deliver, and that which thou deliverest will I give up to the sword. Thou shalt so, but thou shalt not reap. Thou shalt tread the olives, but thou shalt not anoint thee with oil and sweet wine, but shall not drink wine. For the statutes of Omri are kept, and all the works of the house of Ahab, and ye walk in their counsels, that I should make thee a desolation, and the inhabitants therefore an easing. Therefore, ye shall bear the reproach of my people. God bless you. Amen. I believe that um, we have seen and you have heard it, you have read it together, and we and uh, we saw that uh, there is a something that God requires from his children. Mark the word, what the law requires of, of thee. Of thee. There is a something particular thing that God requires on your hand as his children, as a child of God. Therefore, you see that uh, in, verse, uh, in verse 18, eight, in verse 8, he said, Now nah, he has sworn thee, he has showed thee, O oh man, what is good and what does the law require of thee? But to do justice and to love mercy and to walk humbly with the God. Today in the world, many of us have decided not to walk humbly with the Lord, to follow Him proper, to live for Him. Many of us have decided to live a wrong way, to forsake his standard. But this morning, the Lord is reminding you his request, because you can see today in the world, they lock us inside, they tell you that if I see you outside, I will punish you. Is that not so? Eh? Is that not what they are saying? That if you go outside, they punish you. Yes. That you don't have rights to come outside. And we all obey. But we don't obey the instruction of the Lord. We yeah. always argue with the word of the Lord. If those people can punish us, this man, this grass, what about the person that created the grass, that gave instruction to the grass he created? He told the grass, this is how you should go. But the grass decided not to go that way. And now, are you not expecting at the end of the journey that that person that created the grass, that they should not uh, judge, you should not judge them? Mm -hmm. eh? I'm asking you a question. Eh? We should. Uh, he, he, should he should judge, am I right? Yes, sir. And if he if he if he judge, he did not do evil to anybody. Is that not true? Yes, sir. Because so, he's giving you instruction, and he expected you, as a wise child, to follow instruction. You should be a child who knows his father's way. Friend, it is very very important for every Christian to follow the standard of the Lord the standard of his goodness and what our commitment to him our con commitment to him please let there be no noise please when the message is going on you are moving on you are moving around it will be bringing distraction you can see when the people the grass that are in the world when they are coming when they are talking when they are in the conference meeting everywhere is standstill nobody no movement no distraction they tell you to be focused. Friend, you must, learn to, you must learn how to be focused. 
you must learn to be, you must learn to pay attention to focus when the message is going on because the almighty himself is the one talking if you are in, if you are sitting down you remain there until that message is over that you don't see anything that is there that you should go and begin to touch because the almighty god is giving you information if you are not careful you may miss out of the information the almighty god has for you but i pray for you that you will not miss any information in jesus name Amen. we are going to see this uh, these characters this thing that the lord requests one we we must act justice eg honest in our dealing with others in our dealing with others dealing with other people we must know this there is this thing that the law require uh, require for us let's see in the book of uh, in the book of uh, matthew to see what he require there in matthew chapter 7 we read matthew chapter 7 verse 13 Matthew 7, we can start from uh, 12. Therefore, what? all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Okay. Enter ye. God bless you. Stop there. You can see that. It's a wherefore. All things whatsoever ye would that men should do unto, do, unto you, do ye even so to them the things that you know that uh, you want people to do to you you want people to do you good you do the other people good you want people to always stand on the truth you also must stand on the truth do you see that it is very very important you don't want somebody to do evil to you don't do it to other people you don't want people to cheat you don't cheat other people you don't want people to, to deceive you don't deceive other people is it something you need to do? You don't want people to sleep with your husband, to sleep with your wife. Don't, don't do it to other, other people out there. That is, a, that is a structure the Lord wants for his children. That we must, we must take his word. We must obey his word. We must abide his word. We must know that his word is what is true. There is nothing to, be, there is nothing to want to change his word. The word of God is, 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 is still the same yesterday, is still the same today, is still the same forever. He never changed his standard. We must know this, that God cannot lie. And also, number two, we must love mercy, e.g. show great compassion and mercy towards those that are in need. We must show compassion. We must exchange happy hand to those people that are out there that have no hope that is mercy show compassion to them in a particular time like this when things are going wrong when people they have told us to love people they have told us to be inside how are you doing good you that you receive your salary do you think do you even care of those people that have no hope of receiving salary how do you show compassion to them? How do you think about them? Your brothers, your sisters, your family members, all those people that have nothing, the people you don't know, your neighbor, people out there, how do you show compassion to them? Friend, we must know this. It is very, very important as we, as a Christians, who really want to make heaven at the end of this journey, we must follow this instruction of the Lord. Let's see, in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Let's see what God has for us there. <coughs> Deuteronomy. And now, Israel, 10, 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to hear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. Yes, God bless you. Do you see that? 
This is the instruction. This is what God requires from your hand. What God requires from the hand of all his children, you know that Israel are the firstborn of the Lord. Am I right? Eh? Yes, we that have given our life to Jesus, we are also his children. Well, this is, is, is still the same thing the Lord requires for your hand. But to fear the Lord, one, you fear him and do his will and obey every written of his word. As you hear it day and night, you live by it. You put it into practice, not just to be a hearer alone, and then you don't hear him. If this is something you need to know. That this is the this is the high, the high demand from the from our father, that every of his children to want to follow his uh, instruction. When we learn how to follow his instruction, and the Lord will learn how to how to bless us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now we look also in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Genesis, chapter 18, verse uh, Genesis 18. Let's see Genesis 18 and uh, 19. Genesis 18, 19. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the ways of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. Yes, God bless you. Do you see that? God himself was testifying that I know him, for I know him that he will command his children and what and his household after him does the lord know you i'm asking a question does he really know you that you are his child that you are going to command your household to do away with iniquity that do, does god really have confidence in you you can see how God testify about Abraham. Can God testify about you that you will really raise your children? You will not teach them those worldly music. Are there no mothers here, fathers here? It's only worldly music they, they have that they are teaching. They, they, they allow their children to be what dancing those worldly music. They always love their children to watch all those lonely, all those rubbish things. Things that make them get crazy. Things that make them to conform to the world. Friend, how are you teaching your children the, to do justice, to hate sin, not to tell lies? How, how is it possible when you are a liar and your children will become all of them the same thing? It is it, the same thing. Friend, but you need to know that the law requires that every of his children must stand and walk and represent him and we must teach our household the way of the lord it is a high demand from the almighty god every of his children must follow this instruction we must know that he is our god we must know that beside him there is no one let's see in first samuel chapter 15 also let's let's go to the first samuel Samuel chapter chapter 15. Sorry. First Samuel 15, yes. We read we read the let's read the 2022. Let's somewhere. Are we there? Yes, and Samuel said, Had the Lord had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. Yes, that is it. God bless you. 
that Samuel was telling Saul, God, God is not delight on those sacrifice you are giving. There is nothing God delight down rather than to obey his voice. It is very, very important than to obey his voice, o o obedient, obey the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than those sacrifice. There are no people here. They said that they don't, they don't want to obey the Bible. They don't want to obey the scripture. They don't follow him. What God is saying, how God asked them to live, how God asked them to be with their friends. They tell you, no, I don't talk to this one. I talk to this one. They tell you the Bible is not true. There is a noise there. They tell you the Bible is not true. And I tell you that they are doing wrong sacrifice. They are doing wrong sacrifice. They tell you this one, I will not do but I will go and do sacrifice. Friend, does God require, does God delight on those things? No. Obedience is better than what than sacrifice. Look, when you read verse 22, you say, he said, for rebellion is, uh, is as the sea of what of witchcraft, and his stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou have rejected the word of the law, he also have also he have also rejected thee of being a king. Friend, don't allow God reject you to be his child. When God rejected you to be his child, it's going to be too tough for you. You know what happened to Saul when God rejected him to be of being a king? You know how how come of his life at the end? My brothers and sisters, it is very, very important for every Christian to know what God is saying in this particular time. God wants all his children to return back to his way. God wants all his children to know his standard. Don't jeopardize with it. Don't play with it. But other people may do it. Other people may live and go free. But you cannot go free. Turn with me in the book of Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. Let's see what God has for us there. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. Are we there? Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. That is what the Lord is telling you. Learn to do well, seek judgment. But today, people in the world learn to do evil, to do wicked, wicked things. Evil. Taking your name to native daughter, telling the native daughter, any amount is going to cost me, where's this person's life? Because this person offended me. That is what is in the world. People go to people, people right now, they go to native daughter, say native daughter, I don't want this person to have husband. I don't want this child, this person to born. The whole this person, whatever it will cost me, I will do it. But I want to tell you, evil must slay the wicked. Are you hearing me? He, he, there is a day be set aside by God that is going to judge the wicked. One of our sisters. A woman vowed that, uh, let's see, this sister will not give birth. She will show, she will tell this sister her mother is the chief of seller. But today, glory be to God, we make a prayer because we have a father who judge, who is the head of all principalities and power. We make a prayer, Lord, since this person said that our sister will not give birth, now, nah, Lord, you take away her peace, uh, 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 her peace away. Let trouble begin to chase her. Friend, after two weeks and trouble chase her, the police of Germany catch her, and then today our sister has a second a second child. I, that is it, because evil must slay the wicked. But you must look into your life and return back to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We look at the, the other third part that says we must walk humbly with our God, e.g., humble ourselves daily before Him. In godly, in godly, and, and and fear him, and follow his way. We must walk. We must walk godly. We must we must walk humbly, submitting ourselves, humbling ourselves before him. Let's look at the book of James, James chapter four. Let's see something there. James chapter four. If you are there, you want to read. You can release your mind. You can release your mind. James chapter four. Let's see something there. James chapter 4, verses 6, 6 to 10. 
I read here, if you are not there. He said, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he, he said, God resist the prayer, but give, he giveth grace unto the humble. Re, uh, submit yourself, wherefore, to God, resist the devil, and he will flow from you. Resist the devil. When the devil is telling you, don't stand on the truth, you must resist him. When the devil is telling you right now, you should fear God, but don't fear God, then Satan, no, I must fear the Lord. I must fear God, especially on this time that people are inside the house. You still fear God. Now nobody is questioning you how to live in sin. Nobody is telling you right now not to watch all those and all those and all those and all those things that are on YouTube. We have thousands, there are millions, millions of, uh, of themes on the YouTube. Today, do you still really submit yourself before God? Do you still resist Satan? No, this house will be a house of holy. It will be a, house, a holy house. I will not do, use my eyes to do anything evil. Or now that at the end of the month you have received your money, that you are not going to church, do you still give your offering to God? Do you still pay your life to God? Friend, you must resist the devil. When the devil is telling you right now, no, you are told, but you are told. You are still a child of God who wants to end up in heaven at the end of the journey. There is a need of what remaining steps of the law. He said, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Wash your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. Mark the word, ye double-minded. Ye double minded, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your let your language be turned to money and your joy and your joy to have heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and He will what He will lift you up. Humble yourself. If you want God to lift you up, you must humble yourself before Him. There is a need to say, Lord, I submit my will to you. You must tell him, Lord, I bow before you. You must tell him, Lord, I renounce. You must tell him, Lord, I give up. You must tell him, Lord, I repent. You must tell him, Lord, no. You must not be a proud person. You are so proud. You are so arrogant. You are so proud because you have, you have beauty, you have houses, you have telephone, you have many things that other people does not have. You are proud of those things you are having. There is a need for humbleness. There is a need for submitting ourselves. There is a need for power before him. We must know this. It is very, very important as a Christian. A Christians are being called, they are being called out to separate away from the generation of this world, this, all this generation that, that, are, that have no fear of God. We must not walk. We must not uh, We must not be with them. We must total, we must total, we must totally submit our life before God. We must love Him, and we must do everything possible to manifest Himself to um, in, in among other people. Among other people, people will see that Christ we are children of God. Showing example to the people out there, letting other people know that you are not in this world. Let's read in First Peter chapter five. In First Peter chapter five, verse five and six. First Peter chapter five, five. Likewise, ye, likewise ye, younger, submit yourself unto elders. Ye of all, of all you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for good, for God resist the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hands of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Yes, God bless you. Do you, you see that? He said, likewise, there is a need of submission. There is a need to submit. You need to submit. Are we still submitting to Edad? Are we still respecting Edad today? Many people are seeing that uh, right now, everybody uh, in Europe, we are all the same. That uh, who are you? Who are you? Should I greet anymore? You call your mother, your father, do you still respect the person because you are the one sending money to him or her to eat? No respect anymore. Do you still respect your elder? 
You talk to your elder brother, elder sisters, anyhow, because you are sending money. Friend, now everybody, you want everybody to bow down before you because of that, because you are able to build four flats, because you are able to buy car, because you are not in Europe. Now you have become Papa, I don't enter town. You have no regard anymore. You have no respect anymore. Friend, you know, there is a need of what? Of humble ourselves. When you learn how to humble yourself, I tell you, that is where God will exalt you. It is very, very important. Let's look at a, let's look at a proverb. Let's look at a proverb. Let's see what God is saying. In Proverbs chapter, yes, in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter 15, the, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Yes, God bless you. The eyes of the Lord is in every place, everywhere, even inside your bedroom, even inside your bracket, even in the kitchen, everything you are doing, inside your phone, inside your, inside your WhatsApp, inside your Facebook, your chatting, your email, every, in your YouTube, the eyes of the Lord is everywhere. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, God is telling us that in a time like this, that we have, we have been called out to be a peculiar people, to be to separate away from those people that are in the world. But if you did not separate away from the world, a time is coming, a time is very, very close when the law is going to what is going to judge. Let's see in the book of uh, Malachi chapter 2, verse 5. Malachi chapter 2, verse 5. Let's see what the Lord has for us. After that, we read Matthew and we close. Let's see. Are we there in Malachi chapter 2, verse 5? Malachi 2, 5. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me and was afraid before my name. Yes, God bless you. Mark the word, my word, my covenant was with him of life and all and of peace. And I gave them to him for the fear wherewith, mind the word, for wherewith and what he has given you right now, his commandment, his covenant, his covenant that you must separate away, that you must fear him and you must not deviate away. You must make his name know among the gener your generation. Friend, you need to know this, that if you are not lifting the name of the Lord higher, you are lifting Satan higher in your life. But God forbid for you to be an instrument to be lifting the name of Satan higher. I say God forbid. Amen. I say God forbid. Amen. We need Amen. To, to lift Satan higher. God forbid. If you still look Amen. at the number six, he said the law of truth was in his mouth. And iniquity was not found in his lips. Today, friend, iniquity is it not found in, his, in your lips. He said, what, he walked with me in peace and war and equity and did turn many away from war from iniquity. That is why I told you there is a need for us to go out to war to turn many people, those your friends, turn them away from iniquity. Connect them, let them come and hear the word of God. Let them come and see the light because it is the assignment that the Lord has given you and I. We read the final place in Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, we read that place before. Matthew chapter 7, but we are not going to read all again. Matthew chapter 7, let's just read verse um, 22 to 20. Okay, let's read from verse uh, 20, uh, 21. It said 21. Not, not everyone, not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? In thy name, and in thy name, had cast out devils, and in thy name, 
done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you depart from me, ye that walk in equity. God bless you. Do you see what is going to happen? Friend, I pray that you will not receive that voice. Depart from me. I know you not. I pray that it will not be your portion. Amen. This is how it's going to happen. Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, not everybody you are seeing on Facebook that are preaching, not everybody you are seeing in the church as pastors, not everybody you are seeing going to church that we will, that we enter the heaven, the kingdom. But what? But he that what? That doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Are you still doing the will of the Father? Are you still winning so bringing souls to God? Those your friends, are you still is say occupy or the icon? He said, Many say, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we no professor in the name? Friend, you are seeing people are saying they are casting out demons, people are saying they are doing deliverance. He said, And in the name have we have we cast out devils, and in the name have we done many wonders, many wonders, wonderful work. But now look at the boy. And there will I proclaim unto them, I never know you. Depart for me, ye that walk in iniquity, ye that walk in sin. Depart. I know you know because you are not my child. Because I, you are not my children. But I pray that it will not be your portion. Friend, now we have seen what God requires for us. We have seen what God, the instruction of God. We are seeing what God is saying about us this morning. What is your decision? What is your opinion? You that are out there hearing my voice. What is your mind? Sorry, you sir. What is the name of the message? The name of the message. What does the, what the Lord require? What God require from thee? This is what God require to fear Him, to obey Him, to live for Him, to be honest. To be sincere, to do everything possible to prison the Lord. That is the require the requirement of God. This morning, the Lord requires require that every of His children must deviate away from evil. We must depart away from those evil we are doing. We must depart away of telling lies. Today, many of you are liars. When you when you say one, your husband knows that is is three because that is who you are. When you say ah, honey. I'm coming is a lie. You are going to what to commit evil. He know you. He know you with her. She know you. Your wife know you. He said, "This man, you think that I don't know you? You are going. When you come back, you are not. You are not. You are not. You are not carrying her. Only what, uh, Daddy, what can I do for you? What? Because your heart is judging you because of the evil you went to go and do. But your evil will find you out. That is why the Bible told us that the eyes of the Lord is everywhere watching the e the good and the evil. Friend, put down your hair. You can you can you can make you can be different. You can be different from every other Christian. I told myself to matter the situation. I have already made up my mind. You can mock me today, but you cannot mock me tomorrow. Do you understand that? You can laugh at me today, but you cannot laugh at me tomorrow. My prayer, Lord, help me that I will not go where these multitudes are going. Lord, help me to remain steadfast on you that I will not compromise. I will live in this way, the way of the Lord. Be holy. Friend, bow down your head this morning and look into your life. Many will cry on that day. Say, many will cry, Lord, Lord, we profess, we speak to all. Lord, we cast that demon. But we said, get away, ye workers of iniquity. Friend, how painful it will be when you receive that voice. Get, get out. I know you know. God forbid. I pray that that voice will not be your portion. Why can't you bow down your head? He said, anywhere you have not been living, you have not been following the Lord, you have not been following his sincerity. Friend, you can I tell you, you saw where we read that all that make us to understand your, your, your tongue in the book of Mike, Malachi, Malachi chapter 2. It make us to understand that there are many people. Let me read it for you again in Malachi chapter 2, verse 6. It mm -hmm. said, The law of the truth was in his mouth. The law of truth is it in your mouth today. Are you telling? Are you are you standing on the truth? How how do you 
Are you really standing on the truth? He said, and iniquity was not found in him. The iniquity was not found in his sleeve. He walked with what with me in peace and equity, and 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 did turn many away from iniquity. Friend, do you still do that? Oh, mm -hmm. Talk to God. The Lord has done today. Mm -hmm. I have changed. I have made up my mind. Our sister was sharing with me. Oh God, how God, how God washed her tongue. Give how God gave her a new tongue. Friend, if for mention you are a liar, you are a deceiver. You can tell the Lord, Lord, my tongue is so dirty. Lord, wash my tongue. I don't mm -hmm. want the Lord to lie again. Friend, you are you always cheat God. You don't want to obey God, but you want to go to heaven. It's a lie. You will receive that boy that said, Depart away from me. I know you know. You don't want to live a holy life. You want to live as a life. Nobody wants you, don't want anybody to control you. The person that is telling you the truth, you hate that person with passion. Oh, yeah. Saying the person is always condemn you, but the person is doing you good mm -hmm. to tell you the truth that there is a need to escape her. Why can't you cry this morning? Mm -hmm. Eternal Father, mm -hmm. here we are this morning. Mm -hmm. Your word has come to us. Father, mm -hmm. you have shown us your require, what you require for us. Mm -hmm. Lord, my father in glory, I pray this morning that may I have the privilege to preach to others. I pray you will help me to live according to what you require for me. Daddy, I want to live. I don't want to jeopardize with any one of them. I want to live a holy life to obey you. My father, to stand to stand just, to stand in, uh, not in injustice, to stand and rebuke evil. I want to stand, Lord, to stand according to your way. Help me, Father. Help me, O oh Lord, to love righteousness and to hate iniquity. I pray for all your children that you will help them. As many of your children, O oh Lord, my Father, that when they say A is D, Lord, as on today, Father, change them. I know that mm. every message you, every message, my Father, have meaning, have a purpose. Lord, the purpose, why you send this message, let that purpose be accomplished, Lord. You know the heart of your children. You know how your children have been de deceiving people. You know how they have been deceived. They think that they are deceiving you. They think they are very wise. You know everything. You know our craftiness. Father, help us. And root out away every craftiness in us, Lord. Father, let them mm. do that, Lord. In the mm. name of Jesus. There are people mm. here. You don't fear God. You always carry your project at hand, but you never carry the project of God. Bringing souls back to heaven is not in your project. I pray this morning that the Lord of heaven will open your eye for you to see why you must allow the project of God to swallow your project. If you don't allow the God, the God, the, the project of God to swallow your project, simply mean you are not with Him. He said, Whoever that is not with me is against me. Friend, if you are not living to praise God, you are living to praise it. I pray for you this morning that you will not live again to praise it in the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Father. Lord, as I'm leaving them, today is the end. Lord, we will see the end of this year. We will see mm. the end of this situation. We will see mm. the end of coronavirus. Coronavirus mm. will not see the end of us, Lord. As we mm. choose to live for you, Father, I know you will protect us. I know yes. you will secure us. I know you will mm. not allow us to die of this coronavirus mm. issue in the mm. name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm. Those that have no joy before, mm. I pray for joy. I pray for Amen. peace. Those that are sick, mm. I pray for healing. Those that are saying, Lord, mm. when will I have my children? Lord, I pray, Lord, for open doors, especially on mm. this particular time that we have been locked down inside the house. Father, you will surprise them in the name Amen. of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Father, in glory. That after, after this situation, Lord, hey, my father, my God, those sisters that have been looking for children, anybody that see them will begin to see their big stomach because God has visited them. God has visited them. Blessed be the Holy Father. Holy be the glory For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Friends, Amen. God bless you. The message is over. I want you to know tomorrow we are kicking off our fasting and prayer. Endeavor to connect yourself on that fasting and prayer. Mothers, I told the children, my children on Sunday, that uh, tomorrow all they are kicking off their fasting and prayer. They are going to do their fasting from morning to two, two o'clock. If they cannot, the ones that can do to 12 o'clock, let them carry on that on the third, 
I'm going to have prayer with all my children by 1.30. All the children, both young and old, all of us, we are going to have prayer together by 1.30. Please endeavor to make sure that uh, you help your children, remind them, and then let them do the fasting and prayer. It is very, very important. Please. And uh, today we have a charismatic hour by 7. You uh, Please, this period, you need to read your three chapters in a day. It's not a time of talking. It's not a time of gossip. It's a time to what? To seek the Lord. As you do that, God will bless you. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The love of God. Amen. And the sweet fellowship. Amen.